Hello everyone, Minoxen here, bringing you episode 15 in our Let's Build It MechWare Online series. Today's mech will be the awesome 8R Little Sal, which is short for, of course, Little Salamander. As I referenced in the drop videos, finding what I'd call a good build for the awesome chassis was difficult, but after being inspired by the Salamander battle mech, I developed Little Sal, which can provide constant LRM support with three LRM-15 launchers with Artemis. The build is cool enough as well that you can focus on lobbing missiles all game long and retain the ammo count that you need to keep yourself active that whole time without being defenseless. Alright guys, here we are with Little Sal, or Little Salamander as I like to call it. You have a top speed of 60.7, that gets up to about 66.8 I believe it is, kph with speed tweak. You're at full 80 tons, a 59.5 firepower, 1.51 heat efficiency, so you're very heat efficient. You can keep firing for a very long period of time before you have to worry about heat. Uh, you have 432 points of standard armor, and your structure is actually standard as well. We're going to have two medium lasers, three LRM-15s with Artemis, one tag, 16 double heat sinks, XL-300, and of course we have no jump jets. Our modules we'll be using for these drops is advanced sensor range and advanced target decay. For the loadout, more specifically, we're going to be looking in the right arm of two medium lasers, a double heat sink, and two tons of our LRM ammo. In the right torso, we're going to have an LRM-15 with one double heat sink and part of our XL-300 engine. In the center torso, we have our XL-300 with two double heat sinks slotted in the center there with two tons of LRM ammo. In the head, we have our TAG laser for assisting us in getting those uh, quick lock-ons and making our missile packs be really tight. In the left torso, we are going to have two LRM-15s with part of our XL-300 engine. In the left arm, we have two double heat sinks and two tons of LRM ammo. And then in the legs, we have the remainder of our LRM ammo. And that covers it for the actual individual loadout. Let's take a look at the armor configuration. Now, like with most all of my other mechs, I do shift quite a bit of the armor forward, but I leave more on the back of the awesome than I do on most of my other mechs, just because it has such a wide profile. You can get, if you are unfortunate enough to leave your back exposed to some enemies, then they will be able to take off this little bit of armor very quickly. So you might even want to shift some more up to the, um, you know, from the front to the back, but you know, you are kind of a big target here, so you're going to take some front frontal damage pretty much regardless of how you stand. The most important thing here is we shave quite a bit of armor off of the left arm. We're down to 38 points there since all it has is a couple tons of, uh, or I think one ton of LRM ammo and a couple of double heat sinks. And the right arm has a couple of our weapons in it, so we want it to be a primary uh, armored piece there, so it's a full armor. The right and left legs also have reduced armor at 44 a piece, but you don't really have to worry about losing your legs too very often. For upgrades, we are going to have standard armor, standard structure, double heat sinks, which is pretty much a must on most any mech, and then also Artemis missile system. So we will need to be able to afford double heat sinks, which is a 1.5 million investment, and then Artemis, which is a pretty good investment there as well with as much ammo and uh, launchers you'll have to be buying. But that should do it. Let's see how it performed. So now we've played for an hour, and a link to the first drop for Lil Sal's playlist will be in an annotation on the Spinning Awesome. Feel free to check out all the available Ride Along videos, and then come back for the stats breakdown, or keep watching and then go watch those videos later. Now let's see the stats. We played 9 matches in the hour, we won 6 and lost 3, giving us a win ratio of 66.7%. We scored 16 kills with 3 deaths, giving a kill death score of 5.33 with 47 assists. Our total damage for our matches was 4,447, which averages out to 494.1 damage per match. So after viewing these stats, what's my opinion? Well, first off, I believe that these are the best drop statistics that we've had in any of our episodes. But besides that, I'd say that the awesome and its intended role of fire support seems to at least be a fine choice for four-man drops and for solo pugging. With an excellent heat efficiency and large payload of missiles, your only concern should be remaining alive long enough to empty those missile bays. While you will see in the drops that hiding the massive barn door that is the awesome was a challenge at times, it really can put a large volume of missiles downrange rather effectively. While it isn't as cheesy as an LRM-60 awesome, it is a good balance of speed, self-defense, and indirect fire support that your fellow pugs should be quite happy to have you aboard. If you have a suggestion for a future video, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe your idea will make it into a video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe. Also, if you can take a second, hit that like button. That always helps. 
I'll catch you next time, Mech Warriors. Minoxin out.